flaw of averages occurs when uncertainties are approximated by single average values. It states that plans based on average assumptions are wrong on average. SIP math helps cure the flaw of averages by replacing single numbers with arrays of thousands of numbers. This is known as a stochastic information packet, or a SIP. A particularly simple sort of uncertainty is the number that comes out of a game board spinner. This one can go between 0 and 1 and has an average of 0.5. This is the same uncertainty represented by the RAND formula in Excel. Every time I press the F9 key, it's like spinning another spinner. Now, a SIP is a nice computational way to represent an uncertainty, but it's not very user-friendly. So here I have several SIPs symbolized by their histograms. These are created using the sparkline graphs in Excel 2010. First, I have six flat SIPs. That's the uncertainty of the spinner. And these are followed up by six normal or bell-shaped SIPs. Now, in plain vanilla Excel, without add-ins, macros, or anything up my sleeves, I'm going to do SIP math. We'll start with addition. What kind of uncertainty do you get when you add two spinners together? To find out, all I have to do is add the two histograms. A3 plus B3. And boom, there's the answer. 10,000 trials. That's SIP math. Now let's try multiplication with SIP math. What's one spinner times another spinner? I'll just change this plus sign to a time sign. And wow, 10,000 trials later, that wasn't obvious, was it? That's why you need SIP math, because you can't do this stuff in your head. And look at this, it's completely interactive. Undo, redo, 10,000 trials each way. Visit us at probabilitymanager.org to download the sample files demonstrated here. Or better yet, become a member for access to the SITMATH modeler tools and other reserved materials. Please visit us at www.probabilitymanagement.org to learn more and to support this important nonprofit effort.